and I just jumped into the reliquary just to see if everything's running smoothly and oh my gosh that's <laughs> just crazy <laughs> the size of that AOE is ridiculous it's the whole screen almost and we're going to make it even bigger <laughs> oh boy Hello and welcome back to Path of Exile Necropolis League. This is a Cyclone of Tumult player uh, who's ascended to be a Slayer. So we start out as a Duelist and we've now ascended three times and we're a Slayer class. Uh, we can take a look at that right here. I actually went with this, Ascendancy Points, this for AoE. And you can pause and take a look at these, but it does damage and everything. And then that one, that one's pretty cool, but this is really neat. At 20% or less, if a creature has 20% or less life and I just touch it for one point of damage, it instantly kills it. So that's a really nice thing too. Having a lot of fun and we're just getting into maps. And I figured, you know what? We've been uh, uh, vendoring off all IDing and vendoring off all those rare items. In fact, I just had a full quad tab full of uh, rare items that we'd been picking up off the ground, chucking in here. So I ID'd them all and... We have 120 of these to sell. I think I can get three, uh, one chaos for every three. So we're going to go to our sell tab and oh, let's do this tr trade real quick. Nice. So we're going to go to our sell tab and what I've been doing, I mean, I have all these, but I haven't touched them. So I'm playing this as if I'm a brand new player with my own currency and everything. Uh, we have a total of 40 of these left, but I think we're going to be able to sell all these for 40 more chaos. And when I did a whole, uh, I got enough um, in chaos when we did the whole quad tab, it was almost 20 chaos worth of uh, currency when we vendored it all. So it adds up quickly is that that's the point. So let's go ahead and I'm going to hold down control shift. So it goes into this tab and then we're going to set up the pricing here. The pricing is going to be 30. Okay. So it's going to be, we have a total of 123 of these. So we're going to do four chaos. We want um, 40 and you're going to get 123 of these. We're sweetening it a little bit. We're put, throwing in an extra three, but it's 120 for 40. And here's the thing. If I don't get any offers, I will just maybe throw in another five and, and that way it'll bump it up the list and I'll be the best, best price. Hopefully we'll see. And then I'm, to update it, I'm just going to jump in here and then jump back. There we go. So as I'm getting into maps, I said, you know what? I need a better weapon. If I press F1 with my PoE Awaken Trade, ooh, that's a valuable weapon. I don't know why it's worth that much. Not sure why, but it's a 404. Um, I'll be lucky to sell that. I mean, maybe I can sell it for 50 chaos. I don't know, maybe. Um, this is 404 DPS. So what I did was, let me show you what we searched for. I went to the trade site and I searched for this weapon right here. And then I recasted the, uh, I recrafted the attack speed up to 15%, but this was 35 chaos. I had it on me and I figured this was worth it. And this is how we did the search for it. I went into, I wanted two handed sword. I put in a minimum of 444 DPS. Um, I wanted it to have five links. I didn't care about the sockets. And then I said down here, I think the most I want to spend is 50 chaos. So th those are the criteria that I set. When I press search, all of this came up and I sent him a whisper for it, 35 chaos. And now we have all of this. Uh, it even has a chance to impale. Nice. I didn't notice that we this, this line here is not going to help us because we have brutality and brutality means I can't do any elemental or chaos damage. So that gets negated, but that's okay. Um, it ha adds strength and dexterity. That's all right as well. In fact, I think once we have this on and equipped, we'll be able to back out and get one more uh, point back. Um, maybe if we want to go that route, we can, because that's a lot of dexterity. So, and some accuracy. And what else? Uh, that's about it. There's better weapons, but this has a total of 606 DPS. Nice. And that's physical DPS. We didn't want any kind of elemental. You, you can see a weapon with like a thousand DPS, but it, it could be almost all elemental and it doesn't really pan out mathematically at all. It's night and day difference. We want physical DPS, regardless if you're using brutality, it's, it's, it's that significantly different. All right. So 
I hover over this and I look and I go, oh, it's got a dex requirer, or cre- a requirement of 122. We're a little bit short. There's a couple different ways you can uh, um, you can fix that. Ideally, you'll have like a strength item, an intelligence item, and maybe a dexterity item in your stash. And you just throw it on temporarily. And now I can equip it. So I could equip it. And now, because that this item also had a bunch of dexterity, now I have tons of dexterity. If we take this back off, we still have enough to put it on. And this is just a temporary item that I hold on to. And we'll even put it right over here. That's just an item that I'm going to be using to equip um, this if I ever take it off and put it back on. Now, the neat thing is what that did was consequently, um, I think we could probably back out of this just for a little while. Let's see. Refund out of that. Yep. It's going to allow us to refund out of that. Perfect. So now we got another point to spend and we'll get to that in a second. No rush. Um, we're going to look in here. We can just move this. And I use some, um, I use like eight or 10, uh, chromatics to change it to green, green, blue, this, because I needed the same thing. So we'll move these over here. Everything will be the same then. There we go. Cool. Now our, our damage is way <laughs> a lot higher. I should have looked at it on there before we had that on there. It's unfortunate that I didn't. Let's see if we... Let's just take a quick look. It's easy to do. It's worth it. Let's just see on the sheet what this actually pans out to be. Uh, we'll click that. So this is roughly on this sheet. Oh boy. Oh, somebody wants our... Let's invite him. 123 for 40. Let's see if he actually wants the deal. Yep. Let's do the deal. So that's how quick you can sell a lot of these. Um, sell... And we'll just take all these. And I think you can shift click now in this league. Let's see if it works. Shift click. Yep. 43. Uh, so we hold alt 40 and 123. Perfect. Thank you. Done deal. And now we have 40 back. Now this cost me 35. What was it? This one? No, this one. This one cost me 35. So let's get back to this. Um... 22,000, and this is on this sheet. It is not any stretch of the imagination the accurate number because it doesn't understand conditionals like, is the creature close to me? Is it bleeding? Is it full life? All these conditionals don't apply, so it just gives me this number. And I understand why, but... Um, so, let's. Uh, we're at 22, and then if, with this... Uh, looks like we can't... Oh, what? Oh, Terminus Est because of that... And now, 17. So we went up a good third, 30% more damage. And let's see if I put this back on. Nope. Uh, this back on. Oh, God, I can't even uh, equip this now. Let's see. It's tricky to equip it. That's the dexterity one. I should be able to... Re why can't I equip this? Let's find out why. Oh, because I I took the 30 off of there. Let's just put this back on for now. Not deal with that every time. And there. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with that specking and unspecking, so I lost a point there. No big deal. We're going to be rich. And it won't matter. Um, and then we'll put this item back on, even though it's not really that much better. Well, this is this is from a different character, I think, so... Uh, um, we'll put this over here. And now this one, for some reason, was worth a lot. Um, let's try to sell it for... S or I don't think it's going to sell for 50 chaos, but we'll try. 49 chaos. We'll see. I don't think it will, but who knows? Because we've got it for like 10 or 16 chaos. Not much. All right, so we have more damage. We are ready. Let's buff up. And put blood and sand on, and we're gonna go and start getting into maps, and I'll explain maps to you. There's a lot to it. Ooh, we got our first scarab over here too. We'll have to explain how those work. Oh boy, there's a lot to it. <laughs> there's so much. Oh boy. Oh, this is fun. Sorry, I'm getting carried away. I mean, we're getting the EXP in here. I mean, it's not bad. And again, this is if you don't have a lot of maps, like tier one maps to run, and I'll explain what that means. But if you don't have a lot, 
this is actually a good spot for EXP. Um, I would highly suggest running this, maybe run it like 10 times. And by run it 10 times, I mean this. Uh, you'll, you'll make a big circle around the map, kind of end up right back over at the beginning. And you'll come up here. Oh, let's see if we can get over there. I still have ac ac access to a sprint too with spacebar. This is amazing. I'm liking this a lot. Oh, it's back over this way. And all you do is you walk up to the uh, portal thing, hold down control and left click on the portal or open it up like this. I'll show you. Easy. This is going to be fun. You just click that. Here it is. Left control and left click on it. Press new. It resets it and you can run it again. So if you run it like 10 times, you can probably get a level or two or let's see. Uh, 178. Oh yeah, you could get a couple, three levels out of here, just running it and run it, run it, and just get loot out of here for free. And, and then you'll find maps in here. You'll do fine. So let's go back to town or my hideout. I didn't realize I was zoomed in, um, but it was still a really big AOE when I, you start hitting all those things and expanded it. it it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> While we were leveling up, we were doing these Alva incursions, and I think we can actually take the, um, the item. Uh, view temple this one and I think if we take that turn your temple layout into a item that can be used in the map device I'm not gonna run this I'm gonna see how much its actual value is because we opened everything that's nice and I don't think there's any really good um, rooms that were set up we were kind of just be doing it haphazardly but let's take this and we've got an item now this is a tradable item now if we just press F1 on it we might be able to sell that for uh, 10 chaos. Let's try to sell it instead of run it. Or we could run one later. What's 10 chaos isn't that much. We'll, we'll put it right here and we might run that later. You put it in that map device, we enter the thing and then we get to do the whole temple. That'll be neat. Cool. Sometimes you can get a temple, um, depending on the rooms in it, that it can sell for 40, 50, 100 chaos, which is pretty amazing. All right, let's go back over to the epilogue area right in here. And we're going to do the first quest to unlock the map device and unlock the maps and everything. And what you want to do is he's going to give you a, a, a um, he's going to give you one of the first four maps on your Atlas. Your Atlas is this mine's already this much completed because I've already played a guy in this league in this mode. But yours is going to be empty and it's just going to have some dark circles here. But if you look really close, these are all tier one, tier one. There's four of them and they'll they'll have all the each of them has a name like that's Bone Crypt. Not only that, but when you complete the map, uh, the, 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 the map and kill the boss and everything, there's a chance you'll get a map and it's more likely that you'll get one that's connected to another map. So what you're essentially doing is you're completing and killing the bosses in all these maps and then getting more and more points to spend in your actual atlas um and we'll explain that in a second and so let's say you're missing this one but you had a bunch of bone grips you or a bunch of all these you just run a bunch of bone grips and more than likely you're going to get one of these to drop um, a connected map and then you do that you just keep on working your way out and then we're in trade league let's say we're missing one map or uh, this one we're missing that one that one and that one we can search and group by seller and we can buy all three maps from one buyer in one fell swoop and we can it'll it'll correctly whisper them for the three maps and they just get them and it's easy stuff that way but when you first start out he's going to offer you one of one of those four maps. So you want to, what you want to do is you want to look at the maps that you currently have in your map folder. If you've bought a uh, map tab and if you're going to buy anything, I would buy a map tab and a currency tab to start off with. Then you can go from there as you learn. But a map tab is really nice. And so is a currency tab. That's just really, really useful to have. Otherwise, you'll end up with situations like this. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so the map tab, you would look at it and you would say, um, which one don't I have? Let's say we, we've been putting them aside and we've got a bunch of tier one maps and I think I got one of each, oddly enough, crimson probably. But let's say there was one I was I didn't have. You would talk to them and you'd take the one that you didn't have. That way you can complete it. 
we're just going to go in here and we're going to take a, a regular map. Let's say Bone Crypt. It's a tier one map. And you just go like this. And here's the important thing. There's different tiers of map. They're called white, uh, yellow, and red. And then I think it's a purple for tier 17 that just came out this week. But basically it's white, yellow, and red tier maps. The tiers go from one to five for white, six to 10 for yellow, and 11 to 16 for reds. And how you get the actual completion bonus is to make sure it meets a certain criteria. So let's take a look at the, uh, the Atlas again. And this one, see how you get the bonus point? Kill the boss of magic or higher version of this map. If we went in and just put the map in the device over here or in our um, in our hideout and it wasn't magical, we could kill the boss and clear everything in there, but we wouldn't get the point to spend. And the point to spend is important because we click this right up here. This is where we get to configure and customize our end game mapping experience. There'll be stuff like this. Let's say you don't want to ever do any um, ultimatums. You can actually block it and it'll never come up for you. Or let's say you like doing delve a lot. You can specialize in delve or specialize in betrayal. There's all kinds of different tactics. Um, one of the good things when you're first starting out, you kind of want to focus on the ability to make the ma maps easier for yourself, you stronger and more maps dropping so that you can complete your atlas. Because as you get 50 completions of these different maps done, you'll get 50 points, but you'll get access to a second tree and a third tree. And then the second tree you can use that'll have a different customization. One meant to not really um, gain maps, but it'll, maybe it'll be just to gain certain currencies and get, to get rich. <laughs> so you can have different strategies for different things, but we're just gonna focus on the easy thing here. We're gonna turn this into a magic map and by going like this, just a transmute. Now let's say for some reason this thing rolled and it said the, 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 um, the modifier on there, a magic map can generally have two modifiers, a prefix and a suffix, but let's say one of them said reflect physical damage. That would be terrible because as soon as we touch something, it reflects it back even harder and just smashes us and we're dead. So, um, you, you want to check and make sure it doesn't do anything harmful, but if it did, we would just use one of these alteration orbs in this case to reroll it. Now this is only for maps one through five. When we get into yellow maps, the tier six through tens, we're going to have to turn those into magical maps. And we're going to do that with one of a, or, I'm sorry, uh, rare maps. And we can do that with either these. These are pretty cheap and easy to, easy to use, or it's called elk. And that's an alchemy. And we could do it with that. And we turn the normal item into a rare item. And then here's the kicker. If you get a bad roll on it and it has something bad, you might have to spend a chaos orb to re-roll it and hope that it doesn't have that same thing. And then red maps is totally different. We have to actually make them rare and use one of these Val orbs on them and to go from there. Let's go do the steal. Invite. And we'll go right back there. And then we're going to do the, um, what do you call it? I'd hope this guy comes. Okay, so we're ready. We've turned it magic and we're going to go do our first map. And at first you're going to do it down here and you're going to pop it right in here. It's not going to look like this. This isn't going to be here yet. This won't really be here. None of this will be here. And you're just going to pop this thing right in control left click. And we're not even going to do anything else. We're not going to, we're not going to add scarabs to it. Nothing. It's just going to be a simple run with this thing active and that's it. You won't even have access, access to this yet, but it gets more and more complex and amazing as we go on. So let's uh, fire it up. Ooh, so we're going to have some... We, you can move these around. This one's going to have some rogue exiles. That's going to make it a little interesting. Converted to alteration orbs. I like that. But I'd actually like the alteration orbs up here. Even more of them. Because then that's a high pack density, meaning there's more packs of these creatures. And it's 4 to 14. And the strongest in the pack. Oh, so it really wouldn't matter. We'll just go like that then. It's only one of the strongest in the packs drops an alteration orb. Cool. And there's still high density on both those. This one I don't like. This projectiles, four additional projectiles. We're going to move that down to the creature that's the lowest density. I don't want to have to deal with that. And this stuff I don't care about. We're strong. We're amazing. We're going to 
do really well, right? <laughs> now, when a map opens, six portals open. Each time you go in and out of the map, one of them gets used up. If for some reason you use up all your portals before you get to the end and do what you want or get all the loot out, you can't go back in. So, uh, and if you're doing a team, each team member goes in, it costs a, 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 a portal as well. Let's dive in and let's do our first map. All right. We'll put this up and we'll turn our uh, automation on and we'll start cruising through here. And we'll take that. Oh, and we've got a... We'll take this. That's 106 sulfite just from that. Nice, we'll take that. And I'm trying to target just the um, smaller sized rare stuff. We're going to be doing really well on currency. And we'll keep going. Ooh, we got a, one of those. Ooh, what? Emperor of Hinarkara. I think that's a tattoo again. Oh, and a betrayal came along just by happenstance. And we're going to fight that guy down. And I just put a message that said, hey, I'm going to be there in a second for that guy. What does he want? He wants the trans, the silver thing. And let's invite him. And we'll go do this sale. And we'll be right back. We'll do another trade. And then I'm going to turn on D&D. Uh, meaning do not disturb. And then we won't get any trades anymore because <laughs> it's just, it's, I don't have any really big stuff to be traded right now. So I don't, I don't really mind. I want to focus on the maps. So we're going to do that. Come on. One chaos, dude. And there we go. Perfect. Thank you. Exit out. And away we go. This won't be here for you, but it, it will be um, shortly once we do the first one. So let's go. Let's turn on D&D &D slash D and D. Do not disturb. Nice. Now we want to deal with trades. And let's go back in there. Oh, boy. There it is. Once we complete that, we can come in and decorate our um, our hideout and actually put it. Um, we can actually have a hideout with our map device in it and we won't come here anymore. All right, let's keep going. Oh, this guy came up. So we fought these guys and now we're going to this is called the betrayal content um, syndicate, syndicate mayors and uh, members. And this is how you get more crafts, more uh, you unlock more crafts. This is at the max level, no effect. That's fine. I don't mind. And they they sometimes drop things that you can unveil. If you think I'm going to say, and no luck there. And we'll bargain with them. And there's there's even a, a syndicate cheat cheat sheet that will show you where you should want or where you would want to move these guys around. See how they could move around. And there's cer certain bargains that you do, and they end up moving around. Um, it's a pretty intricate process, and it deserves another whole hour or two video just on betrayal. This whole con, this all this contents. Normally, I just sit there and go um, execute and move them up in ranks, and hopefully they drop something like this, or none of it got dropped that time. And we'll just keep going. But there should be two more encounters now in this map, which is good. I actually want some June encounters so that we get unlocks. Now. The thing is, I've already unlocked a lot of the, the trades, which is okay, but um, you'll definitely want to get June in there, and I'll show you where we can do that pretty easily. We'll get it up to 40% very quickly, meaning the, there'll be a 40% chance for Syndicate members to be in your map, in your map which is going to be important because then you can unlock a lot of um, really good uh, crafts that you can add and do, do, do your gear. Ooh, look at that. That's Oh, I think that's a all flame that does something interesting. There's so much stuff, the content out of this league. It's unbelievable. Divination Scarab, all kinds of stuff. Boots and all, oh boy. <laughs> we'll take that buff and we'll keep going. Oh, I think this is, this might be the boss right in here. Yep, this is the boss. Map is complete. It shows up right there and you'll get a point to spend. I don't because I've already completed the map. Now we got a peers map. Now is that a, a oh, and it's linked. So let, think about this. Earlier we said we did Bone Crypt. Is this a peers map? Yep. Look at that. It's it's more likely, not or even highly likely, that if a map does drop and it's a tier two up from a tier one, it'll be a connected map. And sure enough, we got it. That's perfect. Uh, what's the chances? <laughs> That's neat. Um, and then 
you'll start building up your map supply. Now that's rare, it still counts as magic or higher. We look at this and we say, wow, it's got a uh, player kind of inflict exposure, contains two bosses, so when we get to the end of this, it'll have two bosses, and it's inhabited some cultists, and we have 20% less cooldown recovery. So that's gonna be an interesting one to run. That's still doable. And we got some cool boots. Um, but we'll keep on going. Um, I took a node up here in my atlas. Um, it's right here. It's not very far away. In fact, it's on the way. Ideally, I I think as you're, if you're a new player, the first point we spend, because we get a point to spend right now, should probably be this one. And then you're going to go here to get uh, um, Nico, Nico, and Nico. And then June is over here. It's a little bit of a toss up, but notice how I poked my nose right in here to get a 40% chance. You're going to need these uh, unveils and these crafts unveiled, and you're going to be doing a lot of maps. I would actually take, and it's it seems weird to do it, but I would take this. It's one, two, three, four points. So you're going to do four of your 120 or 30 points that you're going to be uh, available to you. 132 total. You're going to spend four of them right here. That'll make sure that 40% of the maps that you run will have a June in them. And it's it's important because you really need to unlock all the the um you do need to do the unveils and we'll do the we'll do one in a second here to show you what I what I mean by that. So that you can actually craft even better crafts on your own gear. And then after that, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna spend all my points. I'm gonna get Nico to drop more often right through here. Don't do that one. And just come right up here and get this because th what happens is each time i hit a um a sulfite node i get more and more benefits from that but then it makes me move faster it makes me hit harder and our defenses went up look at this i have an 80 80 and 81 that's really not too shabby at all um for a max resists so it's really really nice so let's go find a june thing and I'm going to pick up all this junk. Um, I'm probably not going to keep picking up this stuff at this point because I, I'm okay um, chaos-wise. Um, and you guys, when you're brand, brand new, you're probably not. You'll probably want to fill up another quad tab or at least, you know, a bunch of tabs and then get another 20 chaos that way just to, to have chaos to spend. If you're out of chaos, you got to start picking it up somehow. So... And then we'll get eventually to a better one. Oh, there's another, uh, whatchamacallit guy, a uh, syndicate thing that just jumped out. We'll, we'll do it one more time where I pick it all up and get 20 more chaos worth. Nothing wrong with that. And it's not that hard. It took me about three minutes to ID it all. Hey, easy. Guy jumped on us. But I tried to pick the smaller stuff, and it looks like we're full. Cool. Oh, here he is again. And we're going to break into the wall right here. And then we're going to go in the middle here. Come on. Drop this. And there we go. Well, let's see if these guys will drop some cool stuff. Right now, we've done one of three possible syndicate encounter encounters in here. And we're just going to rank one of them. Did some oh, there. See the squiggly line on this? That that can be unveiled. Oh, and I don't have... Let's go, let's go out and in right, real quick. I'll be right back. And you gotta, you know, when I'm jumping in and out doing trades, it's eating up uh, portals as well. So that's why I turned the D&D off. So we got that item. Let's see if he'll drop one for us. Uh, drops a map. Nice. I'll take it. So he dropped a map for us. Cool. And a squiggly item, <laughs> which is just a veiled item. And then we're going to talk to June. There she is. That's two of three. And we'll say unveil. And a lot of times, if this is too big or I don't want to carry it around, right after I unveil it, I just drop it. But there's a possibility like this one. Let's say it had um, life and some resists on it. If that had life on it and then I could unveil some, I would actually try to unveil a good thing because we have one of three choices here. And then it might be a really valuable item. This one is probably not going to be a valuable item. So what do I want to um, actually unveil? This is actually helpful for me because I haven't got these. So let's do um, this one. Uh, so I can actually craft on 124% fizz 
and 25% chance to bleed right onto that weapon. Let's see what this did to that, because we crafted it out on there. It's a 300 and that's a that's a 306. That's almost as much DPS as our other weapon that we had. That is too funny. This might actually sell for something. Let's sell it for two chaos. Um, and then this one, which is weird. Usually, I'd, you usually just chuck them on the ground, but oh well. Unveil. And this one, I don't think we're gonna actually get anything good out of. Um, so let's just do just the one that we don't have on there. But you could put this on there. But let's put this one on there just so that we get these completed. And that one is not going to be worth anything. And then we have a uh, shipyard. We can run that next just for fun. And then we're, we'll run this one and this one. But we're going to go find the third uh, set of June Syndicate members in this map. This is just a little side area. So let's see if she's over here. Or they are. We don't know who's going to jump us from the Syndicate. Oh, there it is. And we're going to go down below and finish it off. We'll take that and that and that. We could take that too, why not? Even though it's pretty big. Okay. So, here we're going to go down. And you got to make sure all these are not destroyed. And there'll be some guys, like, fight, like, picking on them. Let's see. And we're looking at the map. It looks like there's a guy over... Nope, none are here. None are here. There's some right over here's one. So this guy's trying to beat it down and break it. We're going to knock him out and that guy out. And then there's one in here. We'll knock him out. And I think this guy's picking on something over there. And then we're going to go into the final room. Drop a thing in the middle. And that was it. It was just coral. Sometimes you can get them where they can team up on you too. How you set it up so that you'll get more of them to come out. And we get... There's so much to explain about this. It deserves its own video. I'm just going to do this. The main reason I'm doing this is to get drops so that I can unveil. But there's a whole other really super complex thing to it that is amazing and you can get really cool things and there's a lot to it. <laughs> there's a lot to everything, which is a good thing. But holy cow, we're just focused on the maps right now. Oh, and all this other stuff that's dropping. Holy cow. Oh, easy there. And a hood, that's worth that. Let's go, oh, and we're fine with everything else. Let's go back to here. At this point, you would walk up here, talk to him, and say, oh, thanks, I completed the thing, and he's going to give us three Kirik rewards, um, Kirik missions. And then you're going you're gonna to forget about this area because we're going to our hideout, and at this point, you would come down here, you'd say edit, decorations, and then device. And here's the map device, and then you'd place it down wherever you want. Um, I've placed it down um, right here, and I put her here, Lily Roth, because you can control left clicker and it opens up into the cell window automatically, and then also when I'm in my um, my stash, I can look and just she's right there. So it's I don't have to, she's not hidden behind anything. It's just a nice quality of life thing. We were going to try to sell this for two chaos. I don't think we will, but who knows? Two chaos. There you go. And then we're going to dump all this other stuff off and we're going to get set up for the next map. Ooh, we've got a bunch of we're going to use a bunch of these scarabs as well. And done, done, done and done. And there's so much... All, we can upgrade all this gear so much. Okay, so... We've done our first map. We've got a... What's called a Kirik mission. Meaning... Um, they're right here. It's a special mission that you can run. And you will, you'll have three of them. And they'll only be the white tier missions. We've got a bunch, but this one... And then you'd hover over it. And you'd say, okay... Let's say you didn't have any maps... And you, you still have things to do in the tier one maps. And here he is. And he's giving you a mission. If you hold down alt, it'll say complete or incomplete in red. And let's say there was only one of them that was incomplete. Or two of them. These two, let's say, that said incomplete. And you wanted to run them and get the points for it. Um, what you would do at that point is you've hovered over, find out which ones are incomplete. And then you'd say, okay, this and this is incomplete. I can only run one of them. 
Um, what is the special reward? At the bottom there, it says you'd get a whole full stack of divination cards, meaning whatever drops, it's going to be a full stack and you can turn it in right away. That's pretty powerful. It can be really valuable at times. And then this one is breaches. I don't like breaches that much, so I would just pick that one. But what about this one? Oh, it has some essences. This one has a unique item. Maybe you want to do that. Uh, this one has some breaches. Same thing, and you can just run it. Now, here's the thing. As soon as we run this, and you click this and say activate, right then, it's really important to come down here and say purchase items. Because as soon as you push activate, this screen, his um, inventory gets reset. And you come over here. And you hold down alt and you just go over every single map that he's got available and then if it says incomplete it's going to cost a lot that's three chaos orb or chance orbs there's an alchemy for that but it's important if you don't have the map i would definitely buy them and i've bought dozens from him that in this league probably 15 probably 15 to 20 maps off them it just makes it just helps you complete your atlas and get the get the points a lot easier. So every time you do a uh, Kyrick mission, um, just check and then run the mission, come back and do your next one or whatever the case may be. But we're still on the very first part. So you're, you're, you, you should have some maps at this point, a few, like five or six maps. And we do, so we're gonna do a, this shipyard one. It's magical, that's good. So we're gonna get a point for it. If, well, I mean, we already did, but you would get a point for it. Um. Monsters reflect elemental damage. Normally, that would be very scary to people. We're in a situation where uh, we only have to worry about reflected physical damage, but because we took this node right here, um, we can't take reflected physical damage. We don't care about almost anything. We don't leech. The, the regen isn't really that huge of a problem. So there's... <sighs> I don't think there's very many, if any, mods that we have to care about as this type of a character, which is really cool. So, we're going to run this. We really don't care about the the <laughs> the uh, stats on it, the mods, which is nice. Most people have to sit there and look over the, the long list of six to eight modifiers and find one that oh, they'll be like, oh, we can't run it. We're going to do that, and we're going to put some scarabs with it. And basically... Oh boy, some scarabs with some influence adds shaper influence. We'll we'll do that one later. We'll put that away. Um, this one, it's gonna add beyond um, the beyond mechanic to it, and then we're also gonna do uh, divination cards. So we're gonna get more divination cards dropped from this area, and then we're also gonna add tattoos, um, sulfite, and scarab drops. We're going we're gonna to really load this map up for fun. So let's do it. We're going to click that one. We're going to put this in here and this in here. We could put a third, but this is fine. And then we're going to... If we click activate, we could go like this. And we're going to put um, tattoos on this guy. And we're going to put uh, scarabs on this guy at the top. And then we're going to put some sulfite on this guy. When you put sulfite on anything, the, <laughs> these guys can actually be really dangerous. Uh, if they have sulfite with extra projectiles, they could probably like shotgun one shot you down. They're really powerful for some reason. The 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 attack type is just brutal. But we're okay. We're just gonna jump in. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> it'll, it'll be interesting. And now we have our map device in here, and we're in good shape. Okay, let's uh knock this out oh right away you won't have access to the buff yet but oh, we do and now we've got a little bit of a buff but you'll be a, you'll have the same size aoe you'll have roughly the same dps unless you didn't buy the weapon oh boy we're getting a lot of scarabs nice and we'll get this thing oh is that a full car no we didn't get the full set um and pick up that and that and we'll just keep going. Let's go find some more stuff. Come on, jump up there. But I can't jump up there? I guess not. And let's go find the other area. Ooh, nice. And we'll take that. Whoa, come on. Things get out of hand in here. Oh, look at that. We're being attacked from everywhere. Oh, here's a tough guy. 
Oh, there's a tough guy to our right over there. Oh, and Betrayal jumped out at us. Um, you won't be experiencing things as badly as I am. You know, oh, Sawfight Scarab. Um, we'll do that. We'll execute him. And, oh, easy. Delirium Scarabs. Uh, we'll take this guy out. Maybe not. He's a tough guy. Oh, we got another level and another map. Some boots, another map. Um, things can get <laughs> pretty interesting pretty fast. Aisling, we'll just do this. Won't even care where she goes. Um, oh, and we got another ring to de uh, to um, uh, unveil, so let's do that right now. The ring was where? I thought it was a ring, this one. Oh, it's a minion-based thing. Unveil, do we have any minion things? I think I'll just do this. That's fine. That's fine. And we'll keep going. Now we've unveiled that, and let's go see what else we have over here. Look at these guys. Wow. Nice. I think we could probably do like a, maybe even a red map at this time. Maybe. Uh, maybe a, like a, a tier 10 map, as is right now. We're pretty powerful. We'll see. Holy cow, this is a lot of loot. All right, I'm going to up the uh, the restrictions on my uh, the the item filter right now because this is a little ridiculous. It's too much stuff. Let's do that right now and see what it takes away. Options, game. Uh, sh let's go to strict. That's a little less. That's a little better, I guess. And we'll keep going. And it just hides more stuff of the junkier stuff that we don't need, but wow. And if you want more stuff to drop, just keep it uh, as soft or just regular. Wow, more stuff, more stuff. And we'll open this up and see what's in there. Just, just, uh, ooh, this is a tough guy. And he is, he's going to pop at 20%. Done. Beautiful. And we'll keep going. Let's go find the boss. Up here, it's two of three on the sulfite. So there's one more. It's also off to the right. Let's collect that one and that one. Oh, we got another sulfite. This is ridiculous. Now, you won't get as much because I've, I've got bo uh, bonuses and boosts to my map, um, to my atlas. Oh my gosh. Orb of transport. Let's find out what that is. I don't know what that one was, but it's something. And a bone ring will take that and turn it in. We're going to get rich pretty fast here. Um, June. Actually, we have to go in there. What? She's not. There she is. Let's go in there and knock that out. We got a point to spend as well. And let's knock this guy out. And we're looking on the map for those little green things. There's one right there. I guess this guy. And around here. I'm just steering by the map. Maybe this guy. Nope, it's right over this way. There's one up. There's one over here. Maybe him. There's the guy. There he is, beating on the whatever it is, a chest or something. I don't know. This guy, he's trying to break into it, I think. Not really sure what they're doing. And this area is the finest, the final area. Those things hit hard. Let's see what they drop this time. Anything? It'll make a sound. Oh, it didn't make a sound when it drops. Usually it like makes a clanking sound. There, made a clanking sound. Ooh, and that, I think this is fractured or something. It was different. Where was it? Don't know. Let's unveil it. And a lot of times if you're out and you don't want to go back, you just, let's say we just take this, unveil it, get the unveiled. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to use it. We're just, you know, I just want it. And you just chuck it on the ground. Unveil. This one. Um, minions, increased life. We'll do that one. And plus run. Sure, why not? We could actually F1 check it. Uh, that one, that one, and that one. If it has those on there, search and nah. And what about this? Unveil. Fire and chaos. I need that one. I also need the plus one. I need this. Unlocked. More than that, I think. Uh, actually, no. I need this unlocked. We'll take that. 
but I also need the other one locked. And that's what it what it comes down to. You need a lot of unlocks. That's why we're getting June in there and um, the betrayal content into our maps. At a, I think we're a, a little over forty percent. There's other ways you you can get it to the point where it's a hundred percent guaranteed to be in there. We have uh, Delve and Nico a hundred percent guaranteed because then every one of those um, soft light nodes that we hit, even if we're full, um, we can still get Azure right out of it, and we can also get the buff which is just makes life easier. We move faster, I love it. Everything's good about it. There we go. Nice. And let's go find the boss. Oh, map complete. I must have killed the boss. I didn't even know. Didn't even notice. That's how... This, this character is really tough right now. Oh, and is there a way in there? Did we did it? It shouldn't... Oh, the mortal sin... It's over here now. Let's go in here and fight our way in. One guy usually hops on the outside. We'll drop this out and let's see if anybody joins up. I don't think it was enough time. It's unfortunate. Sometimes you have to wait a second for his buddies to join him, I guess. I don't know. Removed from the syndicate? Nah, I'll, uh, we'll just interrogate him. And what did we get here? Unveil. Oop. Unveil. Control left click. Put it in there. And we've unveiled almost everything except this. That's nice, that's nice, but cool. Now we've got another thing unlocked, and that's how you go through the unlocks. And I'll go show you down here. This is how you expand this list and get it longer and longer and longer. Not only that, as you work through the Atlas, you'll find locations like right before a boss, there'll be a craft table that it'll unlock another craft. And you just keep on going through them. And you can actually sort by the uh, unavailable ones down here. We've got a lot to unlock yet. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Cool. Let me take care of this, and I'll be right back. I guess we could look at this one right now. It has that and that on there. And that's worth uh, maybe 5KS. Nah, I doubt it. But we got so many... Um, what do you call it? Um, uh... Scarabs, look at all this. And we'll go over a few of these right now. And I'll do my best to tell you what they do. Some of them are new to me even. Oh, we got a, replaces a small intelligence thing with 8% increased mana regen. Interesting, sort of. I don't think I'd want that, but that's okay. Sacrifices, cool, cool. And the maps. So we got more maps. And now at this point, I'm going to take my other maps out and I'm going to assume that you're going to be doing the same thing. You're going to get plenty of maps and I'm going to put them into my, um, I'm going to stop struggling <laughs> with this tutorial part and just assume that you're going to have a map tab as well. And um, you're going to end up completing these. See these little lines underneath here? These have only one line. That's been completed and I've got the bonus point for it. These haven't been. This one, I could run it. Not right now, because I'm a little bit too weak. Um, I could run it, and I would get it. As long as I ran it, this is a red one, so it has to be rare and corrupted. But I come back over here, and you're going to be looking at this, and you're going to say, okay, um, oh, this one's not done. And you come into it, click it, and do it, and, and actually run it. Not only that, I went and made this public and I priced each individual item on all of them. Let's see, we'll sell those for four. So I'm selling all of my tier one maps for four chaos each um, if people want them. And then this one, same thing. I've completed all these, so I don't mind if people come in here and buy them. Public, each item, four. And this, I might do four, four, I might do five chaos for that. And I just go through, as long as I've completed it, I don't mind, I don't mind selling the old maps that I'm not gonna be running. It. And um, we just go through this. We just go through and knock out more and more of these. If you finally run out of maps, then you can't find any more that you haven't done, but you wanna do them, then you go over to, to uh, the Kirik missions and you'd look on here and you'd say, are any of these not done? I would just hover over it, hover over them all and say, oh, that one's not done. And I would just run it. Um, let's see if that's the case on any of these. No, they're all completed. What about the red ones? 
there's one. So I would just do that. But I would only do that once I've completed all my other maps. Because I might have this in here. And I could do it that way. There's unique maps that are special. All kinds of different things. It's really, really amazing. And then as soon as you activate that, go ahead. And as soon as you activate a Kirik mission, always jump in here and check your... Um, check his inventory because it changes. So now we're going to do... Let's do a tier four map. Let's do a tier four. And what one could we do? Primordial, Foundry. We'll do a fields map. And we know we need to, if we were to do it, we would need it at least magic to get the point. So we'll do magic on it. Monsters can't be stunned. Monsters have more life. Now here's the thing. If you get, as you get more modifiers and more difficult modifiers, the quantity bonus goes up at the top there, the item rarity bonus, and the pack size of the monsters also goes up. So you have more mods, more difficult, more things. There's more rewards, which is really cool. So let's talk about the scarabs. We already know what the all flames do. We saw that if you click, you drag it and click it on a uh, monster, it, it gives you those things, um, which is normal. That's a normal thing. But scarabs. If you get a sulfite scarab, it, it produces Nico in your map. Nico is the thing that does the sulfite, which um, we took uh, this node right here. Let's go, I think it's Shift G that does that, or Alt G. Um, we took this node so that if Nico does show up, each time we hit one of those nodes, it's three, uh, one, two, three X this buff. So we'd get 45% movement speed, 105 on the damage and all that. But if you don't have Nico nodes and you have that thing, you could force Nico into your map by just popping one of these in. You could put two down there and it only uses one of them up. And there's a limit of one in your map at a time. A limit of one to be used in your map at a time, not in your map device. What about this one? This one, we saw the mirror, uh, the mirror of delirium where it makes it foggy and then you get your rewards and everything and you gotta fight in the fog. That's, that's for that one. Now, some of these can be really valuable. Maybe like this one. Let's let's check it out. Let's press F1 and see if it's valuable. We'll sort by that. Uh, maybe two chaos for that one. Um, betrayal scarabs. Let's see what that's. That area adds it adds June to your map. And we got three of those. Um, I already have like a decent chance at June. Let's see how much these cost. Um, it looks like about under a chaos each. Um, but I could just throw in there to make sure. And to, to make sure, let's see if we could do this. Um, let's go to our Atlas and then show stats. And then I wish there was a search here, but let's say betrayal content. There's shrines. We can look in, and see it adds up all the different buffs that we've done to our map here. I'm not sure how much June content we have. I think it's like 40%. Maps, Baltaxic. Scarabs, Shrines, 88% uh, increased chance for Scarabs to be found. Uh, your maps contain Nico. Where is it? I'll be right back. Right here, we have a 40% chance. So if I wanted to, I could just use these, and I think I will. I'll just throw them in here just to use them up. I'm not going to sell them for two-thirds of a uh, chaos. Um, these are, are not useful to me because my... my uh, Right now, they're not useful because um, Nico is already forced into the map with this Atlas. So this one we won't deal with. Einhart, we'll save him for later. That's the beast thing. If you want the beast to be in your map for a guarantee, we'll keep a hold of those. Expedition, if you want expeditions in your map. Ultimatum encounters, same thing. This one is the Miram of Delirium. This is the 100% um, um, increased chance for, for some... Um, uh, uniques to be found. Well, there's certain maps where I want to use that in certain times, but not right now. So I'm going to save that one for later. Rerolling favors at rituals. Ritual is a whole nother bit of content that we only saw a little tiny bit of, um, but that's important as well, but we're not going to do that one yet either. So we're just forcing June in, which is cool. The neat thing is if you didn't want to spend these points um, on June, right? Uh, let's see. If we didn't want to spend these points, you could just buy a stack of or 20 of those 
um, June scarabs and force her in there a hundred percent and just put her in there every single time and you wouldn't even have to use this. Um, it does take up a scarab spot, but that's the trade-off. Um, I'm cool with it this way, but you could do it either way. And then you could save those points and do the other stuff first. Um, in the beginning though, you really probably just want to just do this. If you're starting out, just put 40% chance at June. Then you're going to work, work your way up here, over to this, over to here, grab Nico. And then if you notice, we'll remove this. If you notice, um, there's an 8% chance, 8% chance, 8. Um, this is something else. I wouldn't go for this quite yet. 8% chance. And then here's some more. 8, 8, and then this is something else as well. So I'm getting a lot of percent chances. And then if you click that, there's even more chances right over up here. And this gets it to 100%. And then this, I don't need the extra Voltaxic, um, the Sulfite. I didn't need that. So um, I didn't take that one because I get so much Sulfite now. It's unbelievable. And then after that, after you get all your Nico thing to up to about 100%, then you can just forget about having to use Nico Scarabs and you get them in there and it's a buff and it's a speed buff, a damage and a defense buff. It's really that powerful. Not only that, if you take this, 10% of the Sulfite that you find will be an Azurite and you can actually, uh, I'll show you later as we go into Delve in another episode, the Azurite is really important to spend, and you can actually buy resonators and then sell those in bulk and make a lot of chaos out of it that way. A lot. You used to be make, make even more, but a lot of people are catching on to this. Um, the next thing you'd probably want to do is shrines. And all I do is I'd suggest... Um, do I have a point to spend? Oh, I have a, 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 a passive point. The next point I'm going to spend is I'm going to get this in here. I really want that to be the case. Um... Just click that and it'll highlight all the different uh, shrines and you notice I took this one which extends the buff duration by 75%. So my shrines when I click them they last for a minute and 20 seconds. Um, this forces a shrine to be in my um, in my map. Um, this is scarab related. Let's see shrines. Then it also um, it's 30% more effective and it grants an additional buff. This is going to be good for um, having more magic monsters, more loot drops. And then right up, let's see, right up here, um, I could even make it um, even more shrines drop. And I probably will take these three next. And then we'll go from there. Um, I think we've showed quite a bit. Let's see any of these scarabs. The tormented spirits are those ghost things that come around and infect the creatures. And then those creatures drop more loot. We'll probably just... we'll. we'll We'll definitely throw that in there. Let's see. This we'll save for later. We'll throw that in there and we'll get some more Tormented Spirits on our next map. Uh, some Rogue Exiles. Let's just have fun with those. We probably should save that for a little bit later. These are probably pretty worthwhile. Let's see. How much are those worth? Uh, only one Chaos each. We'll put them in there and have some fun. And then this one, a Legion. Ah, let's let's do it this way. Let's put a legion in there. So we'll have a legion event and this. And we'll put all these in our scare. I have a scarab uh, stash tab. So if I just left click, all of them go in there. And it's under your, f actually a fragments ending under scarabs. Here's all the scarabs I have so far. And it just gets more and more and more. And you can, you, you, there's so many. <laughs> and it gets complex, but this game is complex and fun. And I love it. So uh, let's do the next uh, map. Did I, I have it ready to go? Let's just dive in. And these are the things, orbs of binding. I need some of those. Orbs of alteration, cool. And away we go. I don't have any all flames to put in here. That's all right. And let's go knock out this map. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm trying to figure out all the different things. Uh, oh, here's a ritual. That's cool. We'll do that in a second. And we'll take this. And we'll take that. Oh, boy. Um, it's probably really, really pop, uh, powerful or popular or profitable to um, 
buy some of those all flames of sulfite and always use those in the maps probably about two of them per map they cost less than a chaos each you're going to get back so much azurite once you have the the node that turns some azurite sulfite into azurite it's going to be amazing um i've done that i should get a stack of those and just start pumping them in there all right Let's go see what we got here. We have a ritual and we have some maps, all kinds of stuff. We got an ember, oh easy. They tried to jump me. Oh, literally, this is a uh, betrayal guy that jumped into the map. They literally ambush you. <laughs> nice. Let's take that. What is this all flame? Ooh, pack monster can drop fractured items. Those are cool. Nice. And what is he gonna drop for us? Don't really care. Drop our item. That's what we're shooting for these for now. There's strategies here to move these guys all around and put them in different safe houses and all kinds of stuff, but I just want the stuff right now. And we'll unveil this. And we'll put that on there, fine. And we'll unveil that. Doesn't look like a, web, a thing that I'd actually use, though, so it doesn't really matter. We'll take this one. Nice. We're unlocking some decent number of um, of um, crafts too. That's cool. Ritual. We've done this before. Let's do it here. We open it up. We get we got to fight in the circle until it's done. We get points there at the bottom as we kill things, and we get to spend the points uh, generally at the third or fourth ritual. That's a tough guy here in the middle here. Oh, it's a ghost. That's not good. I mean, <laughs> we're buffing these maps up quite a bit. Instilling Orb, beautiful. We're going to be using those to um, craft our own flasks and make really good ones and probably make profit. And now it says one of four, so we got to find one of four of the rituals in here. We'll open this up, knock it down. I'm just having fun. This is really, uh, really enjoyable in here. And there's so much to do, I get a little overwhelmed. And, oh, there's another. Let's go grab that. Oh my gosh, there's everything. We're really loading these guys, guys up. Oh, here's another ritual. There's a Nico shrine. Plenty of stuff. The AoE on this is huge, and it's going to get bigger. We're not even, like, in our final form yet. Uh, we'll take that and get even stronger. Um, I thought that was a ritual. Let's see. Oh, we got to kill those things. Now we can activate it. We have a uh, shrine buff that spawns, as we kill stuff, it spawns skeletal helpers. They're not too powerful though, but there's something. They just harass the, the locals on our behalf. I don't think we can pick that up. It's just outside the range of pickup range in here. We'll take that and that. We'll upgrade all these things. And that, ooh boy. And that, and that, only one eighth of a chaos, probably shouldn't pick those up anymore, but it's something. And let's go find the, there's a few things, oh there's a smuggler's cache over there, a legion. There's a lot of content in this map, <laughs> jeez, there's a lot of stuff. A legion, look at this, we've got a Nico, alt, a Nico uh, sulfite net mound, now we got our three buffs going. Uh, we've got a legion and this. Let's do this. Put that down and we'll... Uh, usually along the edges are where the uh, loot guys are. There's one right there. And any other ones? There's one right here. I wonder if we can start this with these guys. Let's see. Can we start that with... The, and then the legion guys count towards it? Maybe. Let's we'll see why not. And then we'll fight the Legion guys outside of this right after this ritual ends. Oh, we got another level. We'll have to spend those points in a second. This is nice. We'll open that up. And we have one more uh, ritual to go. We have done, it says three of four there on the bottom. And loot, I'll take it. And this guy. And we still haven't, the map is not complete yet. We'll go over here. I think there's a smuggler's cache over here. Another reign of chaos. Another reign of chaos. And ooh, we get a 
that's that's one of the things I haven't done yet. An actual quest from uh, the uh, why do I blank on that name? Uh, this stuff, this event down here. I don't know why I'm blanking on it. I, I won't struggle with it. Heist. It's heist. <laughs> Oof, here's um. Here she is. Let's see if we can actually do. Um, can we do heist or not heist? Betrayal and ritual at the same time? I don't think so. It didn't let. It didn't activate. Darn it. Um. Oh, this train's getting away. I thought I killed enough people, but let's go trace that train down in a second. This is the fourth ritual. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Oh boy. And let's finish this guy off. Wow, he's crazy. Oh, he's a soul eater. He's just going nuts over there. Nice. And here it is. There's one guy back there that we have to go talk to, I think. I don't know. And we'll betray him. Uh, let's not betray him. Let's keep him like that. Oh. And we have to do this. June. Easy. Um, actually, I think we have to go fight this other guy. Or not fight, or at least talk to. Oh, jeez, that thing's really long. What is that amulet? Will it fit there? Yep. Yeah, we can't talk to June because there's a guy right over here that we left behind we gotta talk to. There we go. Now we'll do that, and then June should appear. And unveil. We'll unveil that item. I don't think it's good, but we'll see. Nice. We'll just take whatever that says. We'll throw this on the ground. Unveil this item. Is it good? Life? Nah. And doesn't matter. So we'll just throw that on the ground. Anything else that we can unveil? I don't think so. And let's go do the, last, the next June thing. But I'm going to empty my uh, inventory. And let's take a look at and look. what are these two? Uh, Carnage Heart, Heart I've seen before. That's kind of a leveling item. And it's worth one chaos. But what is this one? Willow Gift. I haven't seen this one very often. You do not inherently take less damage for having fortification. Interesting. 4% chance to suppress spell damage per fortification. Really? So 80% spell damage? Forti uh, suppression? 19% increased attack and cast speed while at maximum fortification. That's kind of interesting. You want to go that route and suppress spell damage. We'll just put that one away. Is it worth anything? No. We'll just put it away and we'll put that one away too. And let's just jump back in and keep going. And what was it? Oh, we got to do this June thing. That's the third one. So there was a lot of content in this map. A lot. <laughs> Uh, we'll knock that guy down. Oh, he had an effigy around him. We'll take this guy out. And is there anybody up oh, right around here? There's up and around here. Right up here, it looks like there's a guy. And he's done. And this guy's done. And we'll drag everybody over here, and hopefully they'll, they'll all come in here. And is it just Hillock? It is. And Hillock and Aisling become trusted. That's fine. And now we get another thing, and we'll just dump that away and unveil. Here we go. Is it a good item? Not really. Low life. Nah. But we'll unveil it, and we need this one. So we'll just take that. Done deal. Pretty cool. Hop back out. The boss is not done yet, and I know where he is. He's right over here. So let's go do it. And so this is gives, gives you an idea... Oh, we got to spend this, our points. We did all four rituals. All right, so usually the stuff in the top left is the most valuable. Let's do a price check on that. So each of those are worth maybe two chaos, maybe one or two chaos. That's like four chaos. What about this thing? Global, it's it's corrupted and it had 9% increase that. Mind damage, cast speed, nah. Sometimes you'll find um, veiled items in here too that you can buy. There's a veiled item with uh, or a fractured item, so I don't see any good items. What about this thing? An omen of return consumed. It creates a portal. That's no big deal. Um, any of the loot or the currency good? No, no. 
Not too much, but I'll, I'll take some splinters. And I guess I'll take some of these and these. I'll take a... Uh, the, these add 5% quality to maps that are normal. Um, what about this? Mortal Hope. How much is that worth? Two chaos, maybe. Yeah. We'll just take the loot, the, the, the currency. And I don't care about all this. What's the DPS on that? A 586? Why? Why is that a 586 DPS? Well, we'll, we'll take it. Let's see how much that's worth. Only one chaos? I don't believe that. We'll try to sell that for five chaos. And all this stuff. We can also defer items. Um, and to defer something, we just go like that. And you spend it, and it's a little bit. And now it's deferred till you see this uh, event again. You can also re-roll items, but it costs 2,000 tribute. There we go. And I'm cool with this. What about that thing? Nah. Let's go fight the guy. But it's neat. Um, you just get a lot of things to spend, points to spend, and sometimes the, the loot in there is amazing. Let's see how fast we can drop this guy now. And there, is that him? No. Here he comes. That's him. And during the campaign, it was a little faster, but not much. And is there some straggler? Uh, a couple little stragglers. And that one's supposed to be good a special color let's go back to our hideout and figure out what it, why this is good it looks good it looks all fancy here we go strong boxes and are likely to be the rare variety how much are these worth five maybe six chaos seven chaos and i'll just i'll just put it away for now and we'll dump all this Splinter is cool. We got a map out of it. We'll ID it for fun. And I think, what else have we to cover in this episode? Um, we could do these. Um, I don't know if we've done those. Maybe we'll do it in the next episode. Um, we've, we've covered scarabs. We've co covered so much. Um, if you're brand new, it's probably worth it to watch it twice because I use a lot of terms and a lot of words and it's a lot of information coming at you pretty fast um and i and i went kind of slow <laughs> um there it, it, it it's a ton of information but um basically what you want to be focusing on is working on completing the tier the white tier maps tiers one through five and they have to be magic and you have to kill the boss and then you get to spend points and you want to spend points to make life easier work your way get this just so you can start doing the um get her in there so you can start doing june drops and unveiling crafts so you have more access to a wider variety of crafting yourself so you don't have to pay somebody to craft on an item which i had to do this league because i didn't i just didn't find the craft i needed and then get nico in there get some june and get some uh shrines and then maps and quantity and then i went and got this scarab one this is actually a good one and go from there but you're you'll learn a lot from here and we're going to have more episodes so that's the first one i think we're good we'll probably spend the points now our accuracy is already okay um and if need be we can always get that last one right there where, where it's going to add 300 plus um accuracy points we don't need that yet um technically we could even um refund this right now but i don't want to deal with that i think we're going to add the impales right now this one this one and this one and impales just add flat damage kind of in a weird way we could do that or we could skip the impale part for now and just add flat damage it's a little uh, that's a little enticing by doing this multiplier that multiplier is really really powerful um Here's 10 over here, but these are two 12 nodes. There's also some uh, more AOE right here, a little more. I think we're really good on AOE. That's just ridiculously big as is. Um, let's go with the multiplier. Our our crit rate is getting up there. What is it at? 18% and it'll go higher. Um, yeah, and it, and it's 150% even higher when we uh, hit, a, hit a creature on the first hit. 
the multiplier I like, and as we build this up, these become even more valuable. Hmm. I like that. Let's just throw that on there for now, and we can always adjust it. Nice. And with that, um, I think we're going to do the next episode. We'll see you in the next episode. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm having a good time with this, and your main focus should be working on getting these points done. Um these atlas trees done and then if you want a lot of exp i think in the next uh episode i'll do uh some delving and uh i'll knock out some heist stuff as well just to get these uh under our belt but heist has so much exp i'm gonna go in there and get a lot of it <laughs> i'm gonna get some levels here all right so see you next episode i might even live stream that's what i'll do i'll live stream um this guy in in delves getting levels and exp i think that's the plan so i'll live stream tonight and we'll keep pumping out the episodes have a good one and enjoy <laughs>